Put himself, he doesn't like associate with anyone because he's too busy being online. Discriminated against, arrested, beaten. I don't put a gun to my head. That's what woke me up because I'm a pretty sound sleeper. I'm Shamrock and I'm a hacker. It's like being God. If I had the opportunity to show off the power of the city right now, you think I would do it? We want on our laptop to know the location of every squad car within the nearest to a city. What people don't understand, they fear. heard about the hacker menace. Hackers break into government and business computers, stealing and destroying information, raiding bank accounts, running up credit card charges. Young people who break into telephone and computer systems simply because they can. The Pentagon calls it a cyber war. Never before have people so young had so much potential power to disrupt the systems we all rely on. But what do we really know about hackers? Are they the enemy within as the government sees them? Or are they freedom fighters of the digital age? Over the next half hour, we'll take you inside their world. Meet Chameleon, a hacker who faced off with one of America's most dangerous enemies. Shamrock, role model or renegade. And Mantis, who says he can find out anything he wants about you. My name is Mantis. No, I live in New York City. People see hackers, some fat kids sitting at home, dressed in black, can only talk technical topics, can't socialize with people, his only friends are those on the net. I don't fit the stereotype of a hacker, straight off. Hackers are not, you know, geeks sitting in front of their machines, you know, kind of fat and just eating and, you know, hacking all day. Want to let her know, New York City style too. Jiggy over here. Hey, what's going on? I'm Serena. Deranged over there. Hey, Deranged? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Deranged. Little attitude problem, but you know, it's like... I'm just, okay, I got an attitude problem. Mm -hmm. Yo, From a downtown loft, Mantis hosts a live hacker talk show that cybercast with thousands of hackers worldwide. Yo, what's up? Yo, yo, welcome to today's edition of Parts. The show is a virtual meeting place where they can swap tips and brag about their latest exploits. What do you have going on on the show today? I have a uh, privilege to access some files. That there's some little project going on between Russia and the United States. Is it highly classified information? I don't, I don't think I've ever heard it on the news or anything like that. I mean, dealing with, you know, some missiles and some testing sites and, you know, some, some serious technology. I have some confidential, classified, semi-classified, unclassified, not even sure what type of uh, material it is, where it came from. Uh, I guess that's for me to know. I'm like on my first computer. It's kind of like my escape. You can like lose yourself in it. You know, you didn't, there's no parents there. Or there's no, there's not really people telling you, you know, what you can and can't do. At 16, Chameleon left high school and became a superstar of the hacking underground. Hi. Working from a computer in his mother's garage, he penetrated some of our government's most secure military computers. Are you on any kind of like par parole type thing? Or? No, uh, they never. They just raided me. This is where you work? Yeah. I have to make sure there's no. Uh... Yeah. Remember the first time that you were breaking into stuff? What it felt like? The first feeling, it like feels like you know, being a teenager. Um, it's hard enough to get a voice in like school or with our parents. But if you go and you change like the main page for NASA or something, telling people what's really going on, people that's going to get attention. You would assume that for one of these highly important government defense yeah, organizations would be a little harder to break their website. Yeah, but that's, that's not true. <laughs> While no one knew his real identity online, Chameleon became notorious as his hacks became bigger and riskier until he pushed it too far. Chameleon's downfall is actually uh, one of the hacks he did into the DISA or Defense Information Systems Agency. He actually broke into several of their systems and had control of them for well over a month. 
um, and then started downloading proprietary software that the military used to control the system. Software that monitored the global positioning satellites. Software that would control hubs, routers, and other networking equipment. He went further and further into this system, figuring out how it worked. Chameleon realized that what he was doing was illegal, but it got to the point where he didn't care. He was caught up in it, and that proved to be true until the very end. It's a journey that's really within yourself. Walking around, knowing a sign that, you know, I have a knowledge that many people don't. I feel like I'm chasing something. I don't know what it is. And I, I don't think I will know until I catch it. One of Shamrock's specialties is called phone freaking, ripping off the phone company for free service, and, as we found out, listening to private voicemail. Chuck, you're checking my voice message? You're checking my voice message? I have 24 digits. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> private stuff, too? Well, well, you have two different boxes. Yeah. So, I want to check your How do you know I have two different boxes? I just met you. Oh. <laughs> hey, you fuck ass bitch. After a series of run-ins with the law in Michigan, Shamrock moved to New York. And my airport scan your land, kick bang, cause I can. He now serves as an unofficial advisor to scores of hackers across the country. This comes from uh, MZ at AOL, and he asked, you know how to get credit card numbers? I would gladly appreciate it. Uh, that's a real lame question, man. Obviously. Hello? There you are. How are you doing? What's going on? What have you been up to? How's your legal legal situation, my man? Yeah. There was an illegal situation? What's down with them? He was, he was a uh, member of the NASA, NASA thing. Maybe this kid is the outcast that, you know, is outcast at school. Maybe this is his glory. He wants to be the football player that he sees every day in school, that he gets picked on every day in school. Maybe, you know, his homecoming game is more spectacular than the football players because, man, he got into NASA. You got into Norad. We put this up engineer in the URL. Dot com. Let's check it out, fool. This site was hacked. And actually, it was hacked by a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be president, ideally, but that's not going to be until I'm 30. And I will be president. Don't Keep worry. your record clean. You already told me you're in jail. Yeah, well. What yeah. did you get arrested for? Parking tickets? Stuck on the show. No. Well, you really want to know? <laughs> Reckless driving, driving on suspended license, phone fraud. I'm under investigation for phone fraud and possession and assault. Your heart's beating. You forget to breathe. You gotta breathe in. I don't know what you're getting into, but then yet again, you wanna do it. You're approaching the system and you're typing in your final command. Then you're thinking about whether the other guy at the other end, you're waiting till you actually break the law before he comes and busts you. You break in somebody's system, you didn't ask him. That's, yo, that's, you know, it's not allowed. Just by having the password to his account, that's not allowed. It's all illegal. I don't think there's so much, you know, illegal about hacking. Not much is legal about hacking, though it's never been easier to do. And there are hundreds of websites to show you how. While law enforcement is playing catch-up, hackers have become a global subculture of young people playing by their own rules. This is my favorite movie. I mean, this movie is just like, I've never had a favorite movie before in my life. Now, I can't get Matrix on DVD right now. Oh, you can? Huh? It's still in theaters. Oh, you can't get it on that's true, that's true, that's true. Get it on the yeah. Well, I don't know, a, a friend sent it to me on the net. Information. You know, information has to be free. If Big Brother's watching me, you know, why can't he be watched also? Breaking down the system, or just ciphering the system, figuring out what the system's all about. And that's, that's a major theme in hacking. You gotta know that. I should have got into hacking for the wrong reasons. Now, now, I'm beginning to learn what the right reasons are, and I'm also learning how to influence that on the younger people. No, let's set up the alarm. Do I pay the change? 
my school, like, all I did, I knew nothing about computers. All I did was sell weed and, like, go out every night drinking 40s and, like, you know, listening to loud music and staying out all night and skipping school. That's what I did. I was one of those kids that was thinking, wow, I can change my grades or I can hack into a bank and do wire transfer, that kind of thing. Like, that's what, you know, the glamour of that is what drew me in. A group of Boston hackers called Loft say there's another side to hacking. But here you can see the different plane that's coming in. This is stuff that's just transmitted in data for me wanted to listen to. They say true hackers would never steal or invade someone else's privacy. Here you're listening to Serbian fighter yep. planes. Actually, this whole list is basically you know, contributed by people around the world. Our definition of a hacker is somebody who, who wants to figure out how things work. We were even asked to advise the government on ways to keep America's computers safe. Within 30 minutes to seven of you could uh, make the internet unusable for the entire nation. Is that correct? That's correct. Actually, one of us with just a few packets. Pointing out flaws in the systems we all rely on is the essence of what is called the hacker ethic, which is exactly what Chameleon believed he was following when he broke into military websites and then showed them how he got in. Chameleon's ideals and theories were probably a lot more advanced than they looked like on the surface. He was trying to tell people, ask questions. There's a danger here. It's about taking, you know, like a product that everybody says is secure and showing people that it's not. Here you even tell them how to fix what it, the way that you got in. That's, that's what we do on those sites. Technically, it is illegal. It's not cool to go change somebody's web page, but um, sometimes I think that the end is just by the means. Many hackers will admit to crossing the line, even when they know it's wrong. What kinds of things did you used to do? I could uh, take control of your keyboard and just on my screen I'll see what you're typing, you know, dear diary, you know, today, today was messed up, blah, 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 blah. I'm reading all of that. Or just you're, as I'm typing just it. Just as you're typing it, real time. It's power. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's why, that's why I do it, because it's power. The power that comes at a price. A hacker friend of Shamrock's was arrested, and now Shamrock is worried that he might be next. Does he need to be bailed out? Does his mom tell you anything? Does she know? Now he's on a mission to find a disc his friend left behind, or the police do. Right now, Frank Tops? Yeah. This is uh, Creepy Chris's house. Creepy Chris? Yeah, that's what we call him. He's a, a programmer. Programmers don't get out much. What do you think you can find on this disc? The police. You know, when you're listening to them on the radio, obviously they're transmitted on the radio frequency. We don't consider transmitting them because we're receiving them. Now, if you use the same theory of, uh, you know, you're, you're re-formulating the location of the site of the phone user via the frequency that's being transmitted on. Why can't we do that with these? So you're keeping tabs on them, basically. You're not just looking at them. Ideally, that's what we want. We want on our laptop to know the location of every squad car within the nearest city, whatever tower in whatever city you want. Okay. 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 Upstairs. I'm right, next to the piece of evidence, I'm not going to say how, but it is here at the rehab that he is the only one that could get access to. Okay, so you got access to it, Frank. Can you just see it? Can you just show it to me? Well, we never did find out what was on that disc, and the truth is, you never really know what really know what you're dealing with when it comes to hacking. And that's something Chameleon found out when he allegedly got a hold of some software that control our military satellites. This this guy like came on chat. And so he wanted like the software, you know, he thought they had it or something. 
And he's like, yeah, I want to give you a bunch of money for it, blah, blah, blah. So, um, played along with the guy at first because I thought it was a total joke. Later, he's, he's like, you know, go check your P.O. box or whatever. So I go down there with my friend. There's like a thousand dollars. I'm like, oh my God, you know, what the heck? All of a sudden, all this mischief he was causing behind the screen in his parents' bedroom became a reality. And it became a reality to him in a harsh way. They had us surrounded. They had uh, FBI all on this wall. I felt the gun to my head. That's what woke me up because I'm a pretty sound sleeper. The next thing I know, I see my sister getting pushed down the stairs. And then in the room up there, my mom's coming out of the shower with this little towel around her. That kind of like is... You know, to see your mom, like all these, you know, agents and whoever guys down here, and then your mom going across in like this tiny towel is kind of, you know, pisses you off a lot. He ripped me right out of the shower, seven o'clock in the morning. Coming after coming a after, cyber terrorist? Coming out after this one here, who was the, you know, he was, go he was selling, what do they think? You're selling secrets to uh, so. Bin Laden in Afghanistan. The $1,000 check in Chameleon's P.O. box turned out to be from a Pakistani terrorist linked to Osama bin Laden. Bin Laden is thought to be responsible for the bombings of two U.S. embassies that killed over 200 people. Chameleon was the first incident that has come to the public of a foreign terrorist organization contacting a teenager in the United States trying to buy military secrets. And I think terrorists are going to start to realize the same thing that our U.S. government has began to realize, and that is our systems have problems. I've been to the end of the internet and found over the course of my years, I've done everything possible. I've done the good, I've done the bad. I'm more on the good end now. Mantis has managed to keep his record clean, even teaching the class at his high school. So for all y'all being good students, you all passed, because you all have uh, pages up on the net. There you go. Yo, keep up with that. There are people making like a lot of money for that. If you learn it up more, I'll give you a job making some, some dough. I'm really focused. I'm going off to college. I'm going somewhere, and I don't. I don't want to do anything wrong to mess it up. What has it been about your life that's made you able to not fall into some of the traps that some of the people that you know have fallen into? If I do any of those things from the past, I will really go out of my way to make sure that you know none of that's coming back to me. Can you cover your tracks? It is. Yeah, definitely possible to cover your tracks. So now, if there is anything that you're doing that's illicit and illegal, you at least know how to make sure no one knows you're doing it. Yes. You know, over like the last few years, and like basically ever since I got in the hack, I've just been kind of like a wild ride or, you know, some one of the movies. Well, we're on the Vegas Strip, and tomorrow morning, around 9 or so, we're going to head over to the Las Vegas Convention Center thing for the conference. After the raid, started thinking a lot different about like my life and like what I wanted to you know, start doing with it, and then you know turn things around. Maybe we're to the uh, business types and such, so I'm feeling pretty good with the blue hair. These days, Chameleon is living the hacker dream, creating security software for companies to protect themselves from people just like him. Uh, we basically are creating software that has, you know, somewhat of a hacker brain to it, that's smarter than the rest um, in the way that it can think for itself and actually find holes. <laughs> Time we met up with Shamrock, he was on a mission to find a disc before the police did. Well, he found it. But shortly after, the police also found him. Just got out of jail? Yeah. Last uh, night? Yeah, last night around six. I got questioned about three separate incidents, completely unrelated to one another, and completely. What are you being charged with? I have no idea. All I know is I have to go to court next week. You have no idea what you're being charged well, with? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm being charged with. What did know. they tell you that you're being they charged told me, with? They told me the attempted wire fraud for the Bell Atlantic. Um, I have a, uh, a drug charge with the intent to distribute. 
are you a good guy or a bad guy? Like, you know, there is no such thing. There is no such there is thing no. as a good guy and a All bad guy. All good guys are bad guys, too. A lot of bad guys are good guys, too. Nothing is really clear cut about it? No, I don't. I mean, it goes for anything, whether you involve computers or cops or TV or Wall Street or whatever. This may be one of the most powerful inventions in history. It literally can put the world at your fingertips. But for many, the boundaries are just too vague and the temptation is too great to not test the limits. Which can be a thrill and can even further technology, but it can also be dangerous. You can crash a system, end up in jail, or just ruin someone's day. My account has been hacked by hackers. They think it's sort of funny, they've um, hacked into my account, but it's not funny. The last couple times I tried to sign on, it said, Here, that's not your password. Wrong password, wrong password. I'm angry and violated and frustrated and powerless and annoyed. Oh, now we're going to check my passwords. <laughs> oh! That's deceiving sound. Now what? Oh my god! Okay, enough. <laughs>